Okay, so this example is a peppered moss. So this is a, the classic evolution example of um, natural selection. And this is turned into a simulation that you could use for potential IA. I don't necessarily recommend peppered moss for this one, um, simply because it's a pretty common one, but it's a good kind of introductory kind of lab thing that you could use. But basically here's how you set it up. So um, change the speed at which it goes. That's not really the um, importance of this one, but you can start, you can change the number of moths. You can change the selection pressure. You can change the mutation. Now, if you want to know how any of these work, you just click on info up here and it down here, it tells you kind of how everything works. So it's a good reference to see how this stuff works. So for example, I might keep the number of moths at 100, the selection at 50, and I'm going to adjust the mutation. So you know you can run multiple trials on this. So no mutation. I set it up. It gives a random number of moths to start with and so forth. I go. I'm going to run it for about 100 ticks. And whoops. All right, so that's about 100 ticks. So you can, you know, you can look at time here and look at the different numbers of, right, so you can see after about 100 ticks, there's 409 light moths and very little of the other ones. Um, you can export all this data using kind of all plots. I explained that in a previous video if you want to get the specifics of that data. All right, and then I could take the mutation. I could change it to say 10. I set it up. Um, and I hit go. Run it for about 100 ticks. And there we go. I could record those numbers, right? And I could change this again. I could run multiple ones. So if I set it up again, it won't necessarily all start or stop at the same amount. There is kind of a random element built into it. So I could stop it there. So I ran it a little bit longer. But you see the number of moths slightly differ. So you could do standard deviation, things like that. Um, so you can change these. You can cycle on the pollution and on and off. But there's a lot of things you can change. There's a lot of things you can control. You know, it's enough to do an IA in, in most circumstances. Okay? Thank you.